Hello viewers, it's Albatross497 here today with the Ruger P95. <clears throat> Introduced in 1996, the first P95 came out and they had slick grips. Uh, they didn't have a uh, Picatinny rail, but in 05, the P95PR, which stands for Picatinny rail, was introduced. It, it had better texture on the grips and it also had the Picatinny rail. Uh, I have some news about this handgun. If you want to stick around to the end, I'm, I'm going to tell you what's going on with it. It is one of the most reliable handguns under $400 today. Let's do a little shooting. I've never owned any of the pre-2005 models. I, I really don't like the texture on them, but I'm sure they're just the greatest gun. Is uh, the 05 and up. Shoot it a little bit. Way up on the hill. And these things are built like a tank, some of the most heavy duty polymer I've ever seen. This is the third one actually that I've owned and I always, uh, even if I'm trading around or whatever, I always get me a 95 back in the collection. So let's do a little more lead slinging. It is a man's gun. It's kind of big in the hands, but you can handle it, right? Ruger reliability, tough as a tank, and it's one of the best handguns that I, you should be able to get tax and all under $400. And the news I promised you uh, about the Ruger P series, they're all being discontinued. I looked on Ruger's website last night and as of October 2013, which is this month, they've been taken out of the catalogs, been taken off the uh, Ruger's actual website <clears throat> as being listed for sale. So if you want to get you a brand new one, might ought to go ahead and do that now. There's still plenty in circulation if you want to pick up a used one, just uh, letting you know. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to salute this fine handgun with a mag dump into a five-gallon water jug. Thank you, Ruger P95.